couldn't imagine living anywhere else. I've sent a messenger to the clan to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives and lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durvam. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Devon. The name was Eland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious. Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Derval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Who is that? Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Blaze. It must be leaking from something upstairs. That's a lot of Blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. The smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is going to get set off. Oh. 
Will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> Still standing. This is Anvil. We've all said we'd make a bog bench. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. That's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they put it back on. I got it. Don't worry. They tried for the palace. It's finished. Boot tracks. It's just a bit of blaze in them. Get up a bucket line. What happened? No one haven't had a blast like that since the liberation. A moment of your time, Outlander? There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. Duval did find a way into the palace. I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Quick, Carpenter, chill. Someone's got a gun in the rear. Some of the guns are over here. Enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some bounce from a charcoal burner! Must be the Nora who bushwhacked my cat. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? 
Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then a bomb's. Incoming. I've led an army. Kill them. <laughs> Why does a bard always have his lazy eyes? Can we finish this? I've got a second. I've led an army. Pestles and ravages. A savage is nothing. You're starting my irritation. Always have his ladies do the fight. Can we finish this? I've got some to kill. You'll have to do better than that. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good also wrong Tinker will tell you. things because there's more in the way As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up!
I know what you are afraid of. Going back to mainspring and chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. <laughs> down. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Or you and Ursa, you know. I suppose it's obvious how I feel. How I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Asaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Asuram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted her, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sun Ring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his expedition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asuran devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Dorval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines, weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I've been to their base, to the west. When they come, it will be from that direction. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group, corrupted machines across the land. I will order improvements to our fortifications along the western bluff of the city. When will the attack come, do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. Shall we talk some more? Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could... Use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman. Just as Ursula was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. We hope that today is just a sunrise for us. Not a goodbye. I have to go. I understand. Aloy, she would have killed her, but she, and I guess, <laughs> yeah, but I, you did with, I don't give you too much, yeah, but you, come on, stop. What do you think the Osiram will do to Duval? 
for stuff. They'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? I'm heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. Well. I know, you gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Survivors must be holed up in the mountain. The tunnel collapse says they'll be buried. Great! To Aloy's side! Now! For Aloy! For the For Aloy! Aloy! Varl, to me! Let's take her down! They're still alive. 